What began less than a decade ago as a collection of individual musings scattered across the internet has since grown into the de facto voice of the global public. We have come to know it as social media and the sentiments expressed therein have led to undeniable influence and change around the world. Applications such as Facebook and Twitter have given a voice to those previously lacking an outlet for self-expression. The rise of social media has brought about the biggest shift in the way we gather and respond to information since the advent of the Internet itself. These voices, shared instantly through blogs, tweets, status updates, and other platforms, cross geographical, linguistic, and cultural barriers to form a collective force with the power to transform the face of nations and influence public policy. As a result, online opinion has become an invaluable source of information for those seeking to measure the impact of both local and global events, identifying opportunities, and monitor reputations and to respond to these events. However, the sheer volume and scope of social media communication makes it difficult to monitor and analyze through traditional methods. This is where sentiment analysis is used. Here's how it works. Suppose you use Twitter to express your opinion about a certain event or topic. Sentiment analysis determines the tone of your tweet and gives it a positive or negative rating. While analyzing your tweet, it concurrently collects and rates all related social media opinions about this event. Being able to compile this data means you can analyze and assess the public's perception of the event in real time. Microlink's solution, built on Autonomy's idle server technology, leverages industry-proven technologies to unlock the full potential of sentiment analysis. This solution effectively surveys reactions to a wide range of events and topics. Let's take a look at two notional scenarios and examine how sentiment analysis could be used. Imagine one spring evening, an outbreak of tornadoes strikes the Midwest. In a span of less than an hour, homes, schools, and businesses in Iowa, Kansas, and Nebraska are reduced to rubble. As day's citizens emerge, they begin to survey the damage and search for other survivors. Power and phone lines are down and the cellular network is greatly degraded. In the aftermath of a disaster of this magnitude, it's unlikely that wireless networks would be able to keep up with the increased call volume. Frantic victims attempt to connect with friends and relatives, resulting in a majority of calls going unconnected. However, the prevalence of internet-enabled smartphones provides a link to the outside, allowing individuals to share dispatches from the devastation with the entire world. In fact, in similar instances in the past, Despite not being able to make voice calls, users have retained the ability to access the internet on their smartphones and communicate through Facebook and Twitter. It has been reported that more than 55% of Twitter's active users access the service through a mobile device. In the event of a disaster, that number is likely to rise within the affected areas, as alternative modes of communication would be virtually unusable. In this scenario, shortly after the tornado strike, Survivors begin to tweet the statuses of themselves and their surroundings. A man in North Central Kansas reports widespread destruction in his county. Additional tweets from that area begin to pop up. A damaged hospital, an overturned school bus, a leveled mobile home community. Six hours later, a mother of three in central Nebraska tweets that there has been no sign of emergency response personnel in her community. Her children are frightened and the roads are blocked by debris. All they can do is wait for help. But by leveraging sentiment analysis, FEMA and first responders are able to quickly assess the hardest hit areas by analyzing social media. Appropriate support and services can be dispatched more rapidly, and as a result, lives can be saved. Additionally, while sentiment analysis can have an immediate impact, it can also play a significant role in preparation for similar events. Emergency management and disaster response organizations can view the analysis to get a clear picture of where and how the tactics that they had previously put in place succeeded or failed, and adjust them as necessary for the future. Over the past year, we have seen a number of situations where social media has been used to orchestrate protests and civil unrest across the globe. So consider a situation like the Arab Spring. There is growing civil unrest brewing in East Africa. 
In a nation where an oppressive regime has ruled for decades, citizens are beginning to express their outrage, and an uprising is forming. Protesters are taking to the streets. Military forces are responding. A rebellion has started. This particular movement wasn't necessarily fueled by marches in the capital or clandestine meetings. In an increasingly connected world, it took shape through social media. Protesters instantly shared information through Twitter, organizing and planning protests, and recruiting new members to join their cause. As the movement grows, by analyzing the social media platform, the entire conflict can be monitored in real time. Sentiment analysis of the social media responses to the conflict can serve as an informal poll of sorts. Opinions on topics including policies, media coverage, favorability of prominent figures, and ideas for change can be analyzed and acted on accordingly by governments and other international organizations with a role in the situation. Conflicts such as this reach across many cultures and languages. Because Microlink Solution is completely language independent, tweets written in Arabic are based on the same emotional value as those in English. Social media's proven ability to shape the future of nations has solidified it as an invaluable tool worthy of consideration from decision makers and officials around the world. On the surface, a natural disaster in the Midwest and political unrest in Africa don't seem all that similar. Yet, as in the case with any large-scale event, there is a very human element at the core of both. Through the use of social media, the voices of those affected have the power to reach larger audiences. They express needs, frustrations, opinions, gratitude, and more. As this collective voice of social media grows louder every day, so does its ability to immediately reflect popular opinion and shape public policies. With it comes a new era of data analysis. Microlink distills that information for you in a way that allows you to actually see the positive, negative, and mixed sentiments of your selected topic. Through our analysis, you will be able to monitor and respond to events and opinions and track sentiment changes over time, giving you the tools you need to be proactive and make the best decisions for the future.